What's up gamers? Gamer Dad here. This is the guide to help you complete the unusually utilitarian quest, restore shields to yourself or other friendly players. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. I really appreciate the support. So this challenge is relatively straightforward. There's four stages and you need to restore shields to yourself or other friendly players. Friendly players, what does that include? I assume it includes teammates. And if I'm not positive myself if you can actually heal an NPC character, but I, to be honest, I only play solos, so it's not going to apply that way to me, and I'm doing this all on my own. Now, you can play duos, trios, or squads, and you can heal your teammates, and that should count, but an enemy is not a friendly player. So, since I prefer solos, here's how you can do it in solos, and, you know, you can use your brain and kind of uh, figure out how to do this with teammates, and just, it would make it a little bit easier and quicker, but... This is my preferred style. So I'm going to land at a busy POI like Breakwater here. What I love about this is it's got an oathbound chest. I've got these two slurp barrels here. And there's also a ton of chests within a small area. So as you can see, I'm getting credit for this challenge simply by getting any type of slurp or any type of um, bonus or he um, increase to my shields. So I've already got stage one complete there. We're on to stage two. Need to get another 100 increase to my shields just when that person thought they are going to take me out. Nothing like a nice one-shot blam. Now, you can also restore your shields with a shield keg, with the small uh, minis, with the large shield pots, with the splash, the chug splash. As you can see here, this was already used by somebody I ended up killing. And I just jumped into the spray and I crept some shields off of that. But otherwise, you're just going to go around the, the map... And this is a different match, of course. So you can see I've got some minis here. So I'm going to use these minis. I'm just outrun somebody. I do not like the gun, the burst rifle for up close combat. And I was actually just looking for the new NPC at this point. But I pop a couple minis here. End up completing stage two. Now it's on to stage three, which is another 150 shields for a total of 300. So that match finished. Start up again. And as mentioned before, I love Breakwater Bay as a drop spot coming to my same spot, opening up this oathbound chest. We've got two minis, and then I've also got the uh, slurp barrels there if I want to. So I'm going to pop this. I actually end up getting shot, I believe, right there. So that's actually advantageous for me because it just means I can use the extra minis and get credit here. And as well, while you're using this, it can never hurt to hide under the docks here. They're kind of a nice place because it's hard to get at you under here. So I pop those minis, and now I come into here, and this is the actual final stage of this. I just need a total of 500 now for stage 4, and so I've got the large shield pot. Just investigating what I can instruct the NPC to do. So all I need to do though is take my large shield pot, and I'll be done. So I do hope the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like. Leave me a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so and help me reach that 700 subscriber mark. Have a great day until the next video. This is GamerDad, out!